It's the WNBA on 2K Sports. Welcome in, everybody. In this game, we'll see the Phoenix Mercury going up against the Indiana Fever. This is Blake Suniga alongside Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, and we're excited for some 2K hoops. And with these two talented centers, that's a matchup that could be the deciding factor in this game. And you can bet that both these bigs are looking to control the glass in the possession battle. Yeah, and with all that jostling for position, they'll need to be careful about staying out of foul trouble. They are both way too valuable to be sitting on the bench. Pass to Mitchell. From about 16, and a little luck that time, but it drops. Great focus for Mitchell offensively, finding herself that mid-range shot. Diana Taurasi on the wing. to Diggins Smith from outside the arc and Queen pulls it down. Now here's Angsler guarded by Diggins Smith. Mitchell shots good. Great vision from the very unselfish Emily Angsler. She is really all about the team. Tarasi outside. Pass to Cunningham. Diggins Smith. Rossi outside. Megan Smith with it. Just five to shoot. Launches it. Diana Tarasi, and that's good. Accurate, quick, soft. It's a thing of beauty. It's a Diana Tarasi made three. Queen with the screen. Here's Engsler. That three off the mark. And so just over a minute and a half played. Outside, Diggins Smith, pass to Griner. Banked in off the glass. Credit Diggins Smith for finding the open teammate. Skyler has insane hoops IQ. Knows where all the chess pieces are. Now here's Mitchell. Now here's Henderson. Takes the three. That one falls, coming off Kelsey Mitchell's feet. You know what? I don't care how far from the bucket she is. You've got to have a defender on her. She's just too good from long range. Rossi with it. She's covered by Mitchell. To the inside. Cunningham. Beautiful Sophie dish, Cunningham. and the layup goes down. The wily vet, Tarazi. Incredible court vision. And here's Indiana. The WNBA had its first season back in 1997, and just three original teams remain. The LA Sparks, the New York Liberty, and the Phoenix Mercury. Now here's Angsler. To the paint. Reiner with the rebound. And it's the Mercury with the ball. Outside, Diggins Smith. Pass to Gustafson. Reiner. Outside, Diggins Smith, and here's Tarasi. Can't drop the tough three-pointer. Sticking in the Valley of the Sun, the Mercury have had so much success. Yeah, in so many different eras. I mean, they were in their first finals, which was the second WNBA finals ever back in 1998. Then you had their glory years, winning three titles from 2007 to 2014. And then recently, they've been to the finals as well. It's just been decades of winning basketball in the desert. Now here's Diggins Smith. Looking for her first basket still in this one. And a foul on Henderson. That's her first foul. First team foul. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. And there it is. Reiner. Tremendous offensive feel and touch from Griner when Brittany gets in that close to the hoop. Good night. Pass to Smith. Now Henderson. Mitchell right side. Six to shoot. Here's Queen. Let's it go from 11. No good off the back of the rim. 
Here's Cunningham. She's guarded by Hanksler. Pass to Diggins Smith. Diana Taurasi on the wing. They set the pick. Gustafson covered by Smith. Gustafson can't hit. The fever trailing. Back to Smith. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Nice move by Melissa Smith inside, getting herself the high percentage look. Going all in. That was the 2K drive, and it's well worth the second look. Well, as an offensive player, you always want to put pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Now here's Tarasi. Here's Cunningham. Off target from outside. They got lucky. They got lucky. And the defense is taking a big chance, leaving her open behind the arc. And I'm not sure I'm okay with that game plan. Here's Queen. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Left side, Diggins Smith. Count it. Brings so much intensity to the court. Diggins Smith energizes her entire team with plays like that. Smith outside. Pass to Henderson. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. You'll see her hit from very deep, but, but she isn't a one-trick pony. Mitchell has the skills plus toughness to score inside, too. Rossi outside. Tries from 10. Brittany Griner, high post. Cunningham. That's good. And so Brittany Griner gets the assist. Succeeding in the catch and shoot game is all about one thing quickness. And it's a skill that Cunningham certainly has. Now here's Smith. Here's Henderson. And another three for Indiana. How about the stat for a response? We'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. It's turning into a three-point contest. Diggins Smith with it, covered by Henderson. Reiner up top, pass to Diggins Smith. Tarasi. Now here's Griner. That's tipped, and she's able to get it back. That one drops for her. Now here's Henderson. Six points for her. Queen with the screen. Smith with it. The shot comes out. Brittany Griner with a defensive effort. And it's Queen with the foul. That's her first foul. Substitution on the court. Phoenix leading. Only talk defensive impact. No player affects a game like Brittany Griner. Quite simply, the best defender in WNBA history. Nice, accurate pass right into the middle. And here is Wheeler. Mitchell outside. Egbo. She's guarded by Griner. Back to Mitchell. The three ball. And the fever hit again from D. A perennial all-defensive team member, Griner is the ultimate rim protector. Well, you have 6'9 height, 7'4 wingspan, incredible motor, and a tremendous defensive IQ. All of that shows up in Brittany's block numbers. Now, here's Davis. Screened by Griner. Down to five on the shot clock, and that one drops for her. Davis. They need to get way more disruptive defensively. They just can't keep allowing these easy buckets. You know, get a little physical, show some effort. Defensively, that's job number one. Charging. Effort, nothing easy inside. And it's Queen with the foul. That'll be her second foul of the game. now. Down by 15. Outside Wheeler. 
Pass to Mitchell. This one for three. Good for the fifth time. Five shots. She remains perfect. Everyone knows that Kelsey Mitchell can score. So the question is, defensively, how do you slow her down? Well, tonight, they really had no answers. Here's Gustafsson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Now Diggins Smith. Here's Turner. It's good. The assist that time from Skylar Diggins Smith. Backed by her solid footwork, Turner knows a thing or two about scoring inside. Here's Wheeler. Mitchell outside. Sweet move. Queen up top. From down in the low post, it goes. Well, Kelsey Mitchell sometimes has that shoot first mindset, but she's also always willing to make the next pass. Pass to Tarasi. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Got a hand on it. And it's out of bounds. The Mercury able to retain possession here. Outside for Diggins Smith. Pulls up. From out on the wing, she knocks it down. Maybe the premier pick and roll ball handler in the league. Diggins Smith is so dangerous out of this set. Can score, she can pass, she can do anything. Now here's Wheeler. She hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Mitchell shots good. Well, they're starting to come on here in the second. Yeah, their offense looking much better. They're trying to make up some ground. Rossi outside. Now Gustafson. Cunningham. Pass to Tarasi. The three is up. Does not find the basket. Her third miss, and she's just made one thus far. Here's Queen. Second shot Wait. opportunity, and she was fouled in the act of shooting. An opportunity for a three-point play. Scott at the line for one. So here we are in the middle part of the season. What's the biggest challenge facing these teams at this point in the year? Well, for me, it's keeping a strong focus. I mean, deep into the season, it's kind of easy to get distracted. So your shared drive as a team becomes ultra important. This is also where we see great teams pull away from the good teams because great teams are looking ahead to the postseason already, and they will not take their foot off the gas. Here's Diana Parasi from the arc. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. Queen shot is good. This has been a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring from the paint. You know, really, that's why they're on this run. You get that, that close to the hoop, and it's a lot easier to drop shots in. I'm not sure why she keeps trying her luck from deep. It's just not working for her. Mitchell and Tarazi with the block. Great display of timing and athleticism from Tarazi. That'll pump up the entire team. And the Mercury making a change here. Long range from the inbound. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Fever will retain possession. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Mitchell shots good. It's hard to find fault with anything she's doing this quarter. Well, offensively at least. Right wing. Here's Cunningham. And just miss after miss right now. Indiana trailing. Outside Wheeler. Pass to Queen, and there's a whistle. That goes on Turner. That's her first foul. Second team foul. Smith 
left side. Here's Wheeler, defended by Turner. Five to shoot. Shot on the wing. Wheeler, good. Intelligent shot by Wheeler. This area of the court tends to be open in today's WNBA. While the end of the last decade was pretty rough for Indiana, they were one of the best teams in the league from 2009 to 2015, making it to at least the Eastern Conference Finals in uh, five of those seven seasons. Timeout called the Mercury. And so here's Phoenix. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Crosses over. Megan Smith's shot is off. Going back a few years for the Fever, during that 2009 to 2015 run, they were one of the elite organizations in the league. Absolutely. Reaching three WNBA finals, including winning it all in 2012. I am sure that Fever fans are itching for those glory days again. Megan Smith with it. Pass to Gustafson. It's deflected. And it's out of bounds. The Mercury able to retain possession here. Just four to shoot. Tarasi drops it in from 11 feet. A well-developed mid-range game makes Tarasi extremely difficult to contain. She can truly score on all three levels. Now here is Queen. Seven points in the game. Ask a Wheeler. Screen by Smith. Launches a three. Knocks down the three ball. That's two balls in a row from long range. They're starting to heat up. The defense has stepped slow. They've got to take away that airspace. Here's Cunningham. He has five. Greiner with the ball. Here's Tarasi. Takes the three. Ooh, no luck on that one. Yeah, I mean, she has been way off the mark this court. It is getting rough. Inside. And Anksler gets it to go. They've really turned it around here in the second quarter after shooting less than 40% from the field in the first. And they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Rossi outside. Reiner, queen covering. But they'll get another chance. Here's Gustafsson, covered by Smith. Three, Diana Taurasi. That shot Diana goes in, Tarasi. and she Time now out. has three Time field out. goals and six Start misses today. She has such a quick release. It's one of the reasons Taurasi has torched the WNBA for over a decade. Time called here. The Fever decide to talk it over. Indiana now. Now here's Henderson. She's got six. Here's Wheeler. And she lays it straight in. Unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and she's heating up. The Mercury Trail. Pass to Petty. Back to Jefferson. Brittany Griner, high post. To the middle. Petty. And it's out of bounds. The Mercury able to retain possession here. 
That pass had a little bit too much heat on it for her to make a clean steal. Yeah, that was going to be a tough catch for either of them. I mean, these are basketball players, not wide receivers. But a drive by Mariah Jefferson. Shock up Mariah two Jefferson. right there. And it's the fever ball. And here's Henderson. Pass to Queen. That's good, and that even things out. 50 to 50, four for eight shooting this game. Well, a second round pick in 2022, Destiny Anderson finished her college career as a national champion. And not only that, she was running the point and she was leading her team. Outside Wheeler, Queen. The basket good off the assist from Erica Wheeler. Some defensive breakdowns happening now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these high percentage shot attempts, it's not going to get it done. They need to figure it out. Now here's Jefferson. Pass to Petty. And we're going to have a jump ball. That's it's jump tied ball. up there. Fever with the lead. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing in control. Outside Wheeler. Down low, Scott. Six for 10 with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of players. And after winning the college title, Henderson saw orders on her clothing line explode. But well, something Destiny started in college. She wanted to be ready for life after basketball. So Henderson followed her passion, launching her own clothing line. Here's Cannon. To the middle. Here's Queen. Got it. Number seven on the night, seven for 11 from the floor. A few more points added to the lead they might be ready to pull away. It wouldn't surprise me with as good as they're looking at the moment. Absolutely right, Brian. They're looking really strong. Now here's Jefferson. Pass to Gustafson. Petty. Reiner, queen covering. Jefferson outside. Trains the three-pointer. Well, with her height, Reiner, a clear view of the court and allows her to spot open teammates. Here's the fever with the ball. Leading by five. And now Egbo. She's guarded by Griner. Here's the three. And another three for Indiana. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to deal with their passing. Now here's Petty. Pass to Griner. And here's Turner. Here's Petty. Let's it go from deep. The shot, no good. Here's Cannon. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And down it goes, two points. They've been the hotter team in the first half so far, guys. Well, they've been grinding, working for those high percentage shots, and it's been paying off for them. And let's see if this the success continues to go as we get longer into this game. Reiner's shot is off. Great look. Disappointing mix. What happened there? I mean, that, that shot's almost as good as automatic. I don't know. Outside Wheeler. Pass the cannon, and there's a whistle. That goes on Turner. That'll be her second foul of the game. And the Mercury making a change here. Here's Egbo. She's guarded by Griner. Shot clock at six. Here's Cannon. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Well, Destiny Henderson is so skilled at seeing the whole floor. Jefferson outside. Pass to Petty. Turner. Reiner inside. Here's Jefferson. 
The Mercury with another miss. And we've reached halftime in this one. Beaver ahead. They lead by 13. And don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Welcome back to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the final two quarters. And it's the Mercury with the ball. It's a 13-point game. Well, joining as an expansion team in 2000, the Indiana Fever have one title. That was in 2012 when the Fever defeated Minnesota in four games bringing Indy their first WNBA or NBA championship. Pass to Smith. Henderson. Now Engsler. Five on the clock. Good on the baseline, Jay. And when you talk about that 2012 Fever team, one of the great memories were the raucous finals crowds. Over 18,000 on hand for game three when the Fever pounded Minnesota 76-59. One of the most uh, impressive wins in Fever history. I mean, they just love basketball in the state of Indiana. Now here's Henderson. Pass to Mitchell. To the inside. And the ball out of play, the Mercury will have those defeats. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute played. And here's Gustafson. Pass to Diggins Smith. Rossi with it. Reiner. Queen covering. Six on the shot clock. Shoots a fader. Reiner misses. You gotta give them credit for the job they've done on the boards. Well guys, they've done a lot of things well, but their rebounding is right at the top of the list. You know, you look at the stats, the assist totals, they just jump out at you. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been key. It's just a different mindset these teams have had. Reiner shots good. She's enjoyed a very good day shooting the ball so far. She can bring them back into this. Now that is nice. Glad we got a chance to check out that sweet drive one more time. Well, I mean, to be honest, they've got a long way to go, but attacking the rim, never a bad idea. Now here's Henderson. Nine points in the game. Here's Mitchell. And Diggin Smith pulls it down. Those chances, usually they're two points for her. The D, I guess, did just a, enough to bother her. Diana Taurasi on the wing. Back to Diggin Smith. Out to Taurasi. Puts up a three. It's good. The assist that time from Skyler Diggin Smith. An outstanding scorer who changes the game with her shooting ability. Taurasi is just so fun to watch. Now, here's Smith. Pass to Queen. At the basket to her impressive total. And that brings her to 10 of 14. At the offensive end, she's done as much as they could have hoped for today. Reiner with the screen. Three-pointer. Can't hit that one. Now, Indiana takes it the other way. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Inside, Scott. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Those defenders look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're just getting pushed around on the low block. Maybe coach has got to make a substitution or something to energize this team. Well, they better rally soon. They've given up three straight buckets in the paint. Here's Cunningham. He's got five. Rossi outside. Cans it from downtown. She's putting on a commanding performance here. She's now hit two 
three-pointers in each half now. Time called here. The Fever decide to talk it over. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Pass to Smith. Now here's Mitchell. Falls right in. She is eight for 11 with that shot. Well, you pay so much attention to Smith. You can see why that's a huge plus for this team. It can open up things for others. Diana Taurasi on the wing. They set the pick right at the free throw line. And there's another one for the Mercury. Well, there she is again, leading by example. Now, Tarazi may not demand the ball, but they're calling her number, and she's delivered time and time again. Now, here's Mitchell. 18 points for her. To the paint. Here's Queen. And she makes that one. Wow. I mean, come on, that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, it's just nowhere to be found. They have to start committing more bodies down low. The all-time leader in college threes made. Kelsey Mitchell went second overall to Indiana back in the 2018 draft. Brought in as the future of the Fever. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Now, here's Mitchell. Here's Engsler. No good on the three. And Kelsey Mitchell, for years, was the focal point of Indiana. Yeah, and unfortunately for Kelsey, the Fever struggled, failing to make the playoffs each of her first several seasons. But Mitchell never complained, but still put up numbers, and goes to show you the kind of professional she is. Her scoring this quarter has been off the charts, doing all she can to bring them back. Outside Wheeler, Mitchell, Pass to Queen. That one falls, coming off Kelsey Mitchell's feet. She is setting this place on fire. Her shooting has been off the charts. Rossi outside. Inside. Score the bucket. She is 7 for 11 and continues to look good. With an incredible motor, Griner plays with the attitude of someone just trying to make the team, not the all-world superstar she is. Now here's Mitchell. 18 points for her. Moves over to Rossi. And there the Fever with another bucket. Well, she's been reliable again today. They need her points, and she's providing them. Diana Taurasi on the wing. Back to Diggin Smith. And the Mercury, another three. Yeah, Diggin Smith showing supreme focus here, not letting anything interfere with the three-point shot. Now a timeout called by Indiana. Both teams will make substitutions. The Fever leading. Pass to Egbo. Here's Wallace. Queen with the screen. Here's Davis. Buries it from three-point range. Just really good awareness right there on the assist. Now Petty. Now Tarasi. Pass to Griner. Trying her luck from deep. That shot off. And Indiana will go the other way with it. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And now Egbo. Now here is Queen, defended by Turner. Scott, count that bucket. She has been unconscious this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. And here is Petty. Pass to Griner. Now here's Jefferson. Here's Tarasi. Let's go with a three. Egbo pulls it in. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be. And that's firmly in the driver's seat. Rebounding, it's an effort stack. Uh, they've been the more determined team to this point. Davis misses. 
Well, she didn't have a hand in her face, so I thought she was for sure going to bury that. The drive by Diana Taurasi. It's a deflection. Now Davis. And here is Wallace. Pass to Queen. They double her with Taurasi. And now Egbo. Here's Wheeler. The offensive rebound. And yep, it's good. And that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready to react as soon as the shot goes up. Now here's Petty. Tarasi. Pass to Griner. Tries to snap the cold streak. The Fever pull it in. All right, you want to talk about the best team in league history. The 2014 Mercury have to be in the conversation. 29 and 5 in the regular season. Then in the playoffs, they lost just one time winning it all. They have to start bringing the double team on her. Definitely. I would have already sort of expected to see that. And those 2014 Phoenix Mercury, man, they had a star-studded roster. They did. Diana Taurasi and Brittany Griner were first-team All-WNBA that season. And then Griner also won Defensive Player of the Year. And then as a team, I mean, the Mercury, first in offensive and defensive rating, just a dominant 2014 season. Here's Jefferson. Seven points in the game. To the middle and it's rejected you know it's not been the best quarter for her as far as uh, scoring we'll see if she can get back on track pass to queen doesn't go for her and the mercury going the other way now hey, yo, right here. jefferson outside and here's griner good on the bucket you want to stop griner when she's attacking the hoop didn't think so. Too much coming at you. Here's Wallace. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Left side, Wheeler. Pass to Wallace. Davis. No good on the triple. Jefferson outside. Got it. Good job in the low post. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Here's Wallace. Pass to Queen. Off target at the rim. Petty with it. Reiner with the screen. But they recover it. Another shot. Well, it was only a matter of time. They finally get the bucket. You know, throughout her career, I don't think Reiner's got the credit that she deserves for her effort. The second chance points she generates are just so cute. They show her hustle. Now here's Davis. Pass to Wallace. Clock at six. To the wing on the left. Here's Queen. And they turn it over. 24 second buzzer signaling the shot clock violation. Phoenix with the ball. Up top, Jefferson. Covered by Henderson. Jefferson outside. Pass to Griner. Petty with it. Three pointer. That shot, no good. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. 
Fever ahead, up by 12. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. And we welcome you back as we get going into the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. Now here's Henderson. Queen jacks up a three. It's good from long range. Destiny. Just on fire from beyond the arc. Seems like just about all her points are coming from deep. Pass to Petty. Now here's Diggin Smith. Shoots over Henderson. Now Petty fires from deep. Hits the three-point bomb. Second chance points have been a problem defensively. And your job isn't done defensively until you clear the glass. That's where they have to improve. Great point, Brian. Not just the miss, but get the board. Yep, you know it. Here's Cannon, and here's Egbo, defended by Turner. Down low, and two free throws coming up as she misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. That one on Petty. But basketball is life in the state of Indiana, from high school to college to pro. They just love the game at every level in the Hoosier State. Playing in basketball-crazed Indiana, the Fever have a great following, and you'd expect nothing less. Yeah, for sure. These fans are awesome. They're loud, and they really know the game. Indianapolis has to be one of the best stops in the entire league. Rugged screen set there, and the defense didn't even try to fight through it. And the free throw, no good. After suffering a torn ACL in college, I'm excited to see what Turner has in store for her WNBA career. Now here is Queen. The three from Kelsey Mitchell gets it to go from downtown. Well, they've built this lead through plays exactly like that. She's easily been the most consistent performer. No question about that. I mean, she's just hitting everything in sight. Turner a screen. 11 feet out. They get it again. Cunningham. And a foul on the shot. She'll go to a strike for two. An incredibly successful shooter in the college game. I can't wait to see everything Cunningham can do here in the pro game. Both teams deciding to change it up. Well, as an original 1997 franchise, the Mercury didn't have a ton of success early on. However, they won their first title in 2007, year 11 of the WNBA. Pass to Queen. And here's Henderson. Shoots the three. And the Fever hit again from D. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. Yeah, three of the last five baskets they've allowed coming from beyond the arc. Now here's Diggins Smith. Turner with the bucket. And for this Mercury organization, that 2007 championship team was really memorable. And Blake, it's not just that they won it all, it's how they did it. Even the league in scoring by nine points a game, playing at the fastest pace, running opponents off the floor, just a memorable style of basketball. Outside, Diggins Smith. To the inside. Turner with the bucket. They've been getting it inside at every opportunity, and they're getting excellent results. You know, that's a winning formula, pounding the ball down low, being aggressive. You know, they're being very assertive offensively. Now here's Henderson. Shoots from the elbow, hits the back iron, and sinks the shot. Why is it that lefties just look better? Be it a baseball swing, a golf swing, the jumper from Mitchell. It just looks so pure. Inside, Turner. Yes, and it's Skylar Diggins-Smith with the assist that time. She has definitely turned things around in this game. She was more of a background player in the first half, but here in the second half, she's looking like a star. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to Queen. Smith with it. The tray drains it from beyond the arc. Since the start of the fourth, Ryan, that three-point shot has really been there for them. 
Yeah, doing an excellent job, Tim, of finding the open teammate on the perimeter this quarter. The three-pointer is a major weapon for them right now. Now here's Diggins Smith. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Mitchell outside. Queen defended by Turner. Pass to Engsler. Now Henderson. Over Turner. And another basket for Indiana. She is showing a killer instinct this quarter. Looking to extend this lead. Outside, Diggin Smith. Down low. Crafty move. Turner with the bucket. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Now here's Henderson. Mitchell. To the middle. Queen's shot is good. She's really pummeled these defenders today, no matter who has been on her. Now here's Diggin Smith, covered by Henderson. And this has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a very nice job of extending their lead. Pass to Mitchell. Off target from three-point range. Well, with a clear look at the basket, she doesn't really miss a lot of those. Here's Diggin Smith. Make it five for 10 for her with that bucket. Effectively scans the defense. Diggin Smith puts her high basketball IQ to good use. Now here's Henderson, guarded by Diggin Smith. And here's Melissa Smith for three. Good on the triple. Check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates on the same page. And the Mercury with possession. Outside, Diggin Smith. Pass to Cunningham. Diggin Smith. Here's Davis. And the call will be against Mitchell. That is her first foul of the game. Well, Tim, lots of recently retired WNBA players have gone over to NBA teams. Well, we see him on the bench as coaches helping with X's and O's and player development. But also, a lot of former WNBA players are in the front office scouting, helping with the draft, helping with the player acquisitions, doing it all. It's great to see the NBA bring in more former WNBA players because there are very few people who understand what it takes to win at the highest level. Now here's Henderson. Queen with the screen. Uses the glass to finish the layup. She's got a lot of firepower right now. What a half she's having. Reiner with the screen. The drive by Diana Taurasi. Gustafson. The second chance effort. And that's two points on the layup. Where was the box out? Some easy second chance points. Those kinds of mistakes on the glass will kill a team. Now here is Queen. up top. Shoots. Here's Queen. And she battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. She is putting on a clinic out there. Really the centerpiece of their offense. Diana Taurasi on the wing. It's good. The assist that time from Skylar Diggins-Smith. She's shaking off her cold shooting performance from the first half. to Smith. Henderson. It's good for her eighth straight basket in only eight attempts. And what a performance we're seeing from her. Not one miss today. Remarkable. Here's to Rossi. And again, it's Phoenix. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Misses the three. And so here's Phoenix. And here's Diggins Smith. 
There's the triple. It's rebounded by Hankster. He's having a tough quarter scoring the ball, unable to help him narrow the gap. To the paint, Megan Smith with the double team. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Fever will retain possession. Pass to Henderson. Screen by Smith. Let's the three fly. A nice shot by Henderson. Wow, what a great performance from her. She's hit three three three-pointers in each half. Diana Taurasi on the wing. With a new owner, the Las Vegas Aces are setting the standard in the league. Well, they're building a practice facility that rivals any NBA building, and they're spending big time on coaching and front office hires. I just love what they're doing over in Vegas. I'm in total agreement, Ryan. The Aces, as well as some other franchises, have really raised the bar, making sure the players are taken care of. That's big for this league. Now here's Diggin Smith. So they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. They gotta score. Here's Tarasi. The wide open shot is on the money. Follow Tarasi. I mean, double team her, trap her, anything. You can't let her score off the pick and roll. Queen with the screen. Inside. Great pass to set up the land. You know, that is right where they wanted to get that ball. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. So both teams make... And so it's the Fever taking care of business in this one. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you just have to appreciate it. Thank you to everyone for coming out and supporting your team. Please give them a safe.